Paul, let me start with you. Um, when you see where we are, when you take stock of the efforts that the government is doing, what veterans groups like yourself are trying to lead, where are we at? How would you assess uh, the work we've done to this point? Uh, well, first off, thank you for having me, and, and thank you for creating this discussion. I think it's a very important one, and, and I will candidly say I think it's long overdue. Um, Joe's really jump-started a conversation, with, especially with the time cover piece, um, but we're 10 years into war, so candidly, this should have happened a long time ago. Um, I think we're maybe in the first quarter. Um, it, you know, a lot of us joined the military and have served for sometimes 10 years now, um, and, and about a million are going to get out in the next couple of years. About 2.4 million have served overall. Um, so we've seen a lot of the statistics we've talked about, a spike in unemployment and suicide and family issues. Um, but we've got decades to go. Uh, Vietnam veterans are still dealing with Agent Orange. Uh, World War II veterans still receive care at the VA. So part of what I think is our responsibility as a veterans group to do is to push the horizon out and to push to decimal when it comes to cost and to expand the conversation. Um, this is not a check the box type situation where we're gonna get it over with and it's gonna be done. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be one of, the, one of the biggest public health challenges that our country faces for probably for the next couple of decades. Um, we've been trying to draw comparisons from outside the veterans community. And if you think about the national call to action that happened after 9-11 for all the folks that were impacted, or you think about 25 years ago when AIDS hit the United States, you know, there, there have been these kind of tectonic shifts in, in, our, in our healthcare, in our politics, in our society. Um, so we're very, very early in the game. And what I, I do want to tell you is that the trend line's going in the wrong direction. Um, that, that statistic about unemployment rate uh, is arguable. We see about 17% in our membership, and there's not a lot of good data and research. So if it comes to data, uh, metrics for efficacy, uh, service programs and how good they are, scope and scale, we're very, very early, I think, in, in what will be a, a really a generational challenge.